Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to make an easy chicken and broccoli casserole. I love this recipe. I've made it for years and it's always a favorite at our house. Now I'm starting with the sauce and I'm adding a can of cream of chicken soup. Now this is versatile. If you're not a fan of cream of chicken soup, you can use cream of mushroom. That is so good and I'm adding a cup of sour cream. Oh, this is such a delicious casserole. It's my grandmother's recipe, but I have changed it just a little bit. My grandmother made this with mayonnaise versus sour cream, and I like mayonnaise, but for me, the sour cream works a little bit better. Now I've got a cup of shredded extra sharp cheddar cheese and all of that cheesy goodness is going right in. Now, just a little bit of salt and pepper, and I'm gonna give it a stir. Now I'm adding the last ingredient, which is a little bit of milk. You can also use chicken broth, but I did not have any, so I'm using whole milk and I use both, whichever I have on hand. And I'm gonna stir this together, and that's it. We're done with this. Now let's talk about the chicken. I've placed some chicken tenderloins in the bottom of my baking dish. These are uncooked. I like to cook everything together, that way I don't lose any flavor at all. And I like to use the tenderloins because they cook up faster and they're just a little bit easier to serve. And I'm going to season this chicken with some kosher salt and a little bit of black pepper. And now I've got my broccoli. This is frozen broccoli and you can use as much or as little as you like. Now I let this thaw out. Now you can use up to a 10 ounce package or less. I love broccoli, my husband not so much. Now comes the sauce. And I'm gonna take this and just put it all over the top. Mm. My grandmother made so many chicken casseroles. I can't tell you how many are in her recipe book. And this was always one of my favorites. They're just easy and good and very satisfying. Anytime that I can get a whole meal in a pan, I'm always happy. The chicken is actually going to thin this sauce out a little bit, and so will the frozen broccoli. Even fresh broccoli has a good bit of water content in it, so it's going to loosen up and be absolutely delicious. And now, to top it off, I'm using Ritz crackers. Now, you can use a half stack like I have, or you can use a whole sleeve, whatever you like. And to crush them, y'all see me do this a few times, and I tell you, it can be dangerous. I've had more than one explode on me. I'm just crushing up my crackers, and these are going right on top. And there we go. It's as easy as that. Now I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and this is going to cook for about 30, maybe 35 minutes. We want to cook that chicken all the way through, make sure that it's nice and golden brown on top and bubbly in the center. Y'all, this is going to be so good. The casserole is finished cooking and it looks and smells delicious. I cooked this for about 30 minutes and then I've let it rest for just a few. Now it's time to taste it. Look at this. Mmm. Now I want to get some of that delicious sauce. This looks so good. Now, let's go in for the taste. Look at that chicken. It's cooked perfectly. Mmm. Y'all, 
This is so good. I love all of the flavors. The chicken, like I said, is cooked perfectly. It's nice and tender and moist. The broccoli, and then just this cheesy sauce. Really, this casserole doesn't need anything but maybe a salad to go with it. It's a full meal in itself. But if you wanted to serve it over maybe some white rice, that would be delicious. Mm. But I like it just like it is. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Will you press that like button and share this video with your friends? And if you haven't already, follow me at Kathy Southern Kitchen on Facebook and YouTube. Mm, it's going to be good. I'll see y'all next time.